Oh, hi y'all folks. I was practicing my um my funny face. Anyway, today uh we're going to root the Nuke tablet. Why root it? Um I found that a lot of the apps on the Nuke tablet um the Nuke tablet store uh sucks because most of the free apps you don't have to pay for on regular Android, you have to pay for it. So if you root it, you can put the market on there and just, you know, use it as a regular Android device without paying for Mars and Noble apps. Um, I think this is a better hardware device than Fire Kindle Fire, but as far as the apps go, it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's, it's just not the same without the Google market. So let's go root this new tablet and we're gonna put the market on there um, all at once. Um, first, I'll show you how to do it uh, with a Windows, and then uh, another video I'll make on Linux and Mac. Um, that way, you can make a full use out of your tablet without having to, you know. I I don't really like Barnes and Noble um, store, you know. There's just, you have to pay for everything. So anyway, let's go root it and uh, put the market on there, um, the Google market. Hi all folks, so let's root the uh, Nuke tablet. Um, what you're going to do is uh, open up a browser, hit the end button and the web button, and uh, go search for Android Wi-Fi Tether. Um, let's do this. Android Wi-Fi Tether. This is because we just need to download an uh, APK file which gives us access to the app settings so I'm just downloading some random APK file um, so I'm gonna go to Android Wi-Fi Tether here and you can go to downloads there right there and download any of the APK files there it doesn't matter which one and I'm just gonna hit there and hit the menu button more options downloads and it's downloaded, try uh, installing it and it'll bring up package installer um, just hit package installer and now you'll, you'll see install is blocked now this is a, like a loophole that you can get into the settings for application settings, normally you can't without um, doing that so here uh, hit unknown sources and ok All right, like that and then go to development and let's keep the uh, let's turn on the USB debugging. Hit OK. And uh, let's go down to um, let's let's hit USB debugging down there too. And also um, turn off auto mount. All right. And then you're gonna use a uh, connect it to your computer. Um, this is for Windows for now. I'll have instructions on Linux and Mac soon. I'll connect it to your computer and I'm connecting it to my computer here I should get a little loop sound there and let's go to our computer real quick and if you open up control panel um, hardware and sound and if you go to device manager there should be a nuke um, color pop up but mine doesn't and uh, if it doesn't pop up, it's usually something to do with your drivers. And uh, I, for I've been trying to figure this out. Um, so let's move to my laptop now. It should work. Um, if you don't, if you have like a regular install of Windows 7, but I have so many other drivers installed, so that must be why, and I can't figure it out. So I'm gonna just go use my uh, laptop now. So I'm gonna actually let's go to my laptop real quick. So I'm on my laptop. I've connected my uh, new tablet to my laptop here, um, and then I'm gonna open up the same control panel, device manager, and you should get a uh, nuke. Sorry, I installed the drivers. Hold on, and uh, you'll get some like nuke tablet as you can see there. Let me zoom in there for you. See the nuke tablet? There you go. So from here. All we're going to do is double click, um, also, also right before this, download nuke tablet root.zip and unzip it and you'll get a folder called nuke tablet root, um, and which has the drivers in it. 
Um, so unzip it. Go back to Device Manager. Double click on Nuke Tablet and hit Update Driver and choose Browse My Computer for Driver Software and also let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and then just uh, click on Show All Devices and Next and then say uh, Half Disk and hit Browse and then go find the folder where you unzip the new tablet root folder and inside it you'll find a folder called USB underscore driver and then click on the Android underscore winusb.inf and open hit OK and you'll see that Android composite ADB de device comes up um, click next and it'll ask you um, you can't verify it just install this software anyways All right, and this will install the new tablet um, driver and all we have to do is really run the uh, the one click root script and we should be all good to go so that's done um, so close it um, close and we're going to open up nuke tablet root the folder and run run me that bat all right just double click on it and it'll say um, please unplug your device and hit enter when done so I'm plugging I'm, I'm, I unplug my um, nuke tablet and hit enter and then I'll pull up this thing um, and uh, let me see here plug it back in plug it back in and uh, we should be all good to go. Close this device manager. And then hit hit continue. Hit enter again. And then I'll show you why it's going. It's doing its uh, zergling rush, whatever. And uh, it's going to root it, install some apps for you. Um, hopefully the Google Market. And you should have a um, you know a new tablet with ability to install any apps from the Google Android market instead of the lockdown nuke store which is okay but I still enjoy I think the Google Android market is much better of course so now it's pushing all the uh, Google apps as you can see and there's not really you can always uh, factory reset your nuke tablet which pretty much unroots and get rid, rid of everything so there's no worries there I would say. I'll have a video on that too. Um, so it says all done rebooting new tablet. So my new tablet is rebooting. And I'll be shortly back with a brand new rooted new tablet um, with Google Market. And uh, maybe a new launcher too, maybe. We'll find out. While that's going on, let me um, do a shameless promotion of my new um, Canyon, Canyon uh, camera. Uh, I got this point and shoot because sometimes, you know, I can't carry my DSLR everywhere with me. But this is like the second best thing. Point and shoot. Put it in my uh, pocket. It shoots really good HD videos, 1080p, um, very, very smooth. Um, it's one of the best I've seen and also great photos. Highly recommend it. I'll have a, uh, I have an unboxing video and full review of this coming soon. So, Oh, okay. So my, my tab rebooted. I'll show you. So I opened it up. Um, you can. Uh, it comes with the Go Launcher, so you can try it. Don't you? Don't set it as default yet. Um, so you can try it. So I'll use a uh, Go Launcher EX like that. And this is just Go Launcher app. Okay. Yeah. Just go through it. Um, so that's done. So that's the new desktop Go Launcher. Highly recommend it. And when you press home again, um, you'll get another option like this. Uh, you can set, I think the, the top one is the Go Launcher. You can set it as default if you want. But I can access the old one like that. And you can also, um, you know, let me, let me show you again. Let me use this by default. You can always do a clear default in library, long press on the item to, um, to bring up the context menu. So you can clear the you can switch it so I'm gonna do go launcher there you go so I have the go launcher now um, which is a rooted app now you can see all your apps here and super user app there so which shows you that um, 
my new tablet has been rooted. And also you can go to the market. Oh, you gotta go sign in. Let me go sign in real quick. So I just signed in. Um, so I got the Google market. So now it becomes, your new tablet becomes uh, um, just a regular Android tablet. And you can get all kinds of free games and whatnot. Let's, let's go look at games real quick. We'll do a download with the um, rootedness here. Um, actually, no, I don't want to pay for it right now. Let's go back. Where are the top free ones? There we go. Top free. Um, let me see. Let's try um, drag racing and see how this one looks on the tablet. New tablet. So you can do also two, uh, if you hit the home button twice, it will go back to the uh, Go Launcher. Um, and also if you want to change, um, there we go, drag racing, oops, okay, let's go back to the market and let me open up the, uh, the new app. Oh no, it's going to, when you first run it, the market's going to update to the latest one, so that's why, that's what happened there. And now you have all your apps um, here. So I've got the drag racing here. And, uh, oh, you know what? This thing looks pretty good. Ooh. Let me turn the sound down a little bit. Um, so. Oh. Okay, oh, sorry. This is like kind of a pretty crappy <laughs> drag racing game, I think. Oh, you know what? I forgot to... Ah! I know some of you are going to leave comments. So, I've got the uh, the new launcher and the market um, and rootedness. Um, you can also make a backup with titanium backup. Um, let's go do something. Oh, let's say you want to get, um, you want to uh, get rid of the uh, launcher if you want to switch. Um, let me see. Android Reader. You will have to go to settings somehow. Still trying. Oh, here it is settings in the home page. And then now you get all the settings here. Um, and go to. Library, I think. Yeah, let's go to home. And um, uh, search. No. Okay, hold on. Anyway, I haven't been able to figure out how to get into um, the uh, settings for apps, managing apps. But you can probably download a uh, third-party um, applications. Um, oh, you know what? You can use Titanium Backup um, to do that, actually. I think. Um, I highly recommend it, by the way. Titanium Backup. And you can also back up all your apps using Titanium Backup. So, let me install this real quick. It's taking a while here. Oh, there we go. So, it's a Titanium Backup. Um, get the Pro version. It's much better. I think the Pro version allows to you... Um, to put um, to actually erase data without um, without having to use settings. So I'll just show you that real quick, just so you don't get all lost and you want your old nuke um, your launcher back. The launcher for the well, hit allow. Make sure um, the launcher for those of you who don't know. It's you know it's basically your home screen. Um, so this one's been swapped out for uh, with the Go Launcher, which allows you to you know see all these apps. You know you'll need all this because the the Barnes and Noble uh, launcher doesn't support regular Android apps, I believe. And uh, if this happens to you, then oh, get this one too. This is great. This widget is awesome. Um, I'm gonna install it. This widget allows you to close all apps with a one one hit, one hit quitter. 
So I can close all my apps, like Titanium Backup wasn't working right. And then I can bring it back up and then it should um, work correctly. But for some reason it won't let me back up. Um, so I guess maybe it's not compatible with it. Okay. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, you've got a, um, I just showed you how to root your new tablet. Um, I'll be actually going to Korea for a little bit, so I won't be able to update any videos. Other than my trips, um, so I'll have videos on those. And uh, when I get back, I'll try to do one for Linux, Mac, and unrooting videos. And, um, I'll actually take this with me and maybe, you know, <laughs> play with it there. Anyway, um, subscribe to my new, uh, subscribe to my channel and my new site. Um, if you have a new touch or a new tablet, um, subscribe to my site at nuketabletroot.com. All right. Thanks, y'all. And that's how you root your new tablet. It's actually pretty hard. This is one of the harder devices. See y'all later.